Hi, my name's Stuart from Black Magic Design and welcome to IBC 2023, where I'm going to be showing you the brand new Cinema Camera 6K. So for many of you, the new Black Magic camera looks quite similar to the existing 4K and 6K Pro and 6K cameras. However, there are some distinctive differences. Um, first and foremost, it's the size of the sensor that you can see here. Um, this is our first full frame camera. Um, which means that you're able to get full 6K open gate um, via this full frame. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is that the lens mount is different in that the distance of the, uh, the mount at the front of the turret is drastically shortened because we now actually have um, an L mount. Um, L mount is something that we have been looking at for a while because of its interchangeability and the flexibility around a number of different lenses that are on the market. Um, so the mixture of full frame, Plus L mount gives us um, an incredibly diverse and an incredibly versatile piece of equipment that enables you to shoot high-end cinematography. Now, this camera is, um, is, is not the first 6K camera that we've got, but there are some distinctive differences between what is a full-frame camera and what is a Super 35 camera or one of the other 6K cameras that you see out there in the market. Um, with this camera, there's a huge focus on that cinematic look. It's how we can make those pictures as close to those Hollywood style images as we like. And by working with a full frame sensor, we're not only getting that large sensor that gives us the resolution that we need, but it also gives us um, an incredible uh, amount of detail um, and also great dynamic range. The Cinema 6K um, also has dual ISO, so native 400 and 3200 which means that obviously when you're working in diverse lighting conditions, the dual ISO gives you that extra flexibility. Um, this is a feature that we brought into our cinema cameras um, a couple of years ago, and we transitioned it across into this. It, it really, it's all about that flexibility and being able to work within a brighter environment or being able to work in a darker environment and actually um, work with a different ISO level that maybe you would be um, restricted with if it was only single ISO. Okay, so, so with the L-Mount Alliance, that enables us to work with and collaborate with other manufacturers and other people that are working with L-Mount. Um, for us, the benefit here is about interchangeability um, amongst many different lenses that are out there without really um, causing any, any issues or any deficit to um, the, the quality of the image and things like crop factors and things that are incorporated with um, other lens mounts. Um, the benefit also is that what we're seeing is that some of the high-end lens manufacturers are also adopting this standard. So you'll actually see on the camera behind me, we actually have a Cook lens on there, which, is, um, which has got an L mount on it too. Um, so the integration of ourselves and our cameras and lens companies, um, obviously uh, an understanding that we want to try and get this kind, of, um, this kind of lens capability into the hands of as many people as possible, means that for the everyday consumer, the person who's out there shooting video and wanting the best quality lenses and also working in a versatile manner with, lim with, with, with minimal limitations, um, we hope that we can make this more affordable and more accessible for all. The Cinema Camera 6K has 13 stops of dynamic range, which is, um, again, the same as what you're seeing across our other camera ranges. Um, clearly, this has got a larger sensor size than the other, um, the other cameras that we have. And whilst the 13 stops of dynamic range can be viewed in one sense as being, is it 13 stops or more, or are we, because we've got a larger frame, uh, sorry, a larger sensor size, shouldn't we be achieving more? It really is about the quality of what we're getting out of that sensor. What we're seeing in the detail and what we're seeing within the noise levels of this is a very clear and very concise 13 stops. Um, so when you're working within a, a light environment or in a low light situation, um, the number one priority for us is, is the clarity of that image and ensuring that there is a limited amount of noise, if not at all. So following on from the um, 12K and the integration of the optical low pass filter, We've also included an optical low-pass filter onto the new Cinema 6K. Um, the Cinema Camera 6K um, has a specifically designed um, uh, optical low-pass filter for this sensor. So it's not the same, it's slightly different, but it performs in a similar way. Um, what you'll see there is a reduction in moray, 
you will also see um, a quite aggressive IR cut on there as well. Um, so again, for that cinematic use and for some of that high-end production, this is a feature that's been requested for us from a, for a number of a number of years now. Um, but now integrating this into a, a, a smaller format camera um, really gives that cinematic experience to somebody who is shooting for a more cinematic look. So the great thing with this camera is because it is a similar form factor to what we've seen with the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, um, a lot of the accessories that we already have will work with this. So the viewfinder will work in the same way. Also the battery grip which mounts on the bottom of the camera will also um, function with this um, to give it extended life when out in the field. Um, one of the other notable changes and differences is the actual um, media that we record on. So you'll see that we've actually moved to CF Express. Um, the main benefit of this is that we can actually do dual recording of both B-Raw and also proxy at the same time. So whilst we're actually recording our B-Raw footage, we're also putting a proxy down in a proxy folder on the media, which means that when we start working on a project in post-production, we can start working straight away with those proxy files. So the great thing with this camera is it's ready to go. Um, we are about two weeks away from shipping. Um, we have spent a lot of time in terms of getting this product ready. ready. Um, the amazing thing for most people is anybody who wants to take a step into this cinematic world with full frame, you're talking about a product that costs 2,355 euros. 